Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of the Flame of the Forest. I think we're on part 13, but um, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let us begin. Sounds POV. I saw Milk while I was talking to the other cat. He was still shocked that he was. He had thought for moons that he was dead. I mean, that's fair, considering he fell into a river. I don't know why Wild thought you were dead. Like, all he heard was you screech. Like, you could have easily got away from the dogs. Why did the dogs leave you alone? <laughs> it's so unexplained. The shoulder just randomly appears and was like, um, yeah, we shot this baby fox with the chicken. <laughs> just no explanation. <laughs> You should come with us, Wild said. If I don't get back today, the kids will be all over me. What I do? He said, it would be nice to be Wild. I love this. He's like, hmm. <laughs> what do I do? His thought process literally just always floats back to Swift Plan, which loyalty over kinship. Yes, please. <laughs> then he realized something and cringed inwardly. <laughs> This is one of my favorite lines. <laughs> Milk was a Rowan clan, yeah? And Wild was his clanmate. He would have to deal with a Rowan clan. Oh my god, the horror. The horror, I say. Dude. <laughs> he, followed, he followed Wild to his camp. So explain to Fang. How do you know it's Fang? <laughs> a bit, like, if Slate even does talk about Fang, it's probably about how stupid he is. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Some studies his black and white pillow. He, he had green eyes. <laughs> yes. Is that not what Slate told you? <laughs> Do you think Slate... Because Slate would not be like, oh yeah, his name was Fang. He was very annoying. He would have been like, Fang sucks. Because of XYZ. <laughs> so, this is your brother? He asked Wild. Yeah. Well, welcome to Rowan Clan. Thanks. <laughs> so it's just like, I want to leave. I want to go home. Wild's POV. Wild still couldn't believe Sun was alive. Then he thought of something. What if he hadn't found Sun? Oh my god, this one. Why does everyone just assume things? <laughs> it's even worse when Milk does it. Because when Milk does it, it's really stupid. <laughs> Anyways. What if it had been one of his clanmates? Or, what if it had been one of the cats from Slate's clan? I mean, he lives there. <laughs> so, so, so they probably knew he was on the border. He, he, he probably knew that. They, they probably knew he was there, you know? <laughs> Do you happen to see any cats, Wada son? If I had, why would I care? You're not still scared of cats, are you? He asked. He added teasingly. No, of course not. Just checking. That is adorable. I love when they do that. It's so cute. He's not cute because, like, he's clearly like, well, you're still scared of cats even though you live with them, but it's kind of funny. By sunset, the rest of the clan knew about the sun. Wild was talking with him and Willow. When he noticed boys and like, ah, please and Willow. Disco time. Disco time. Disco time. Sun gave them a disgusted look. Yep, thank you. Why, though? <laughs> because sounds like ill. Evan looks over to Lily. Girl, make it make sense. Make it make sense. How is anyone supposed to believe you when you're like, like, oh my god, it's so sad. Like, Wolf is like gone, and he's like such a traitor, and then you literally immediately get with some rando. Make it make sense. Hey, Wild. Well started, he turned to her. I'll stay out of this. Sun got up. Aw. This part. It is so annoying. I love how they're like, I was like, boing, I'm gonna go over here. I'm just gonna leave you two. Okay, okay. Willow gave him a grateful look. Listen, Wild, I've been thinking, and I wanted to ask you, will you be my mate? Wild felt his heart skip a beat. Yes, Willow, of course! He was so happy. Sun came back over. Great, now I'm behind you. Joke, I don't think it's a competition. Eh, I know that's besides the point. Do you know someone then? He was curious now. So much. It's a possibility. A possibility. That's what I said. Is it not? Will looked very amused. Anyway, want to know more about the clan? Uh, sure. So 
there's like hunters and guards. We're not the same duties for them. That's not how we do things. Well, it's dumb. <laughs> Thank you, son. <laughs> you know what's funny? Because like, okay, spoilers for side story. Yeah, I didn't write it, but son is the one that abolishes that. <laughs> He's like, it's like this is dumb. And so it's like, I agree. Let's change this. And everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> Oh my god. While Noah's cloud glanced in their direction briefly and turned his gaze back to the sky. <laughs> he's just looking at the sky. No one cares that he's just looking at the sky. Like, people. Uh, Wild to the sun. All about the custom, about clan customs and Slate and his quote unquote clan. <laughs> you literally are just bringing slander to this man's father. <laughs> That's the funniest part about this. <laughs> The next morning, in Swift Clan's forest, they're both the forest. <laughs> they have to fight which forest. Frost led the patrol to the border fences, where she was with Ice and Lightning. She wanted to show Ice something and took Lightning, so it wouldn't look suspicious. Yeah, hey, I'm just gonna take my apprentice. That's one of the most basic freaking thing ever. When you have an apprentice. Hey! She called. Ice gave her a look. Then... A little calico she cat hopped onto the fence. She had a red collar and a long tail and soft short fur. Oh, hi there, Frost, she said. Who is this? Lightning hissed. The small she cat bushed out her fur. <laughs> lightning, you're hilarious. <laughs> I love lightning so much. I'm Cupcake, she told her. How do you know this cat? I asked. I, do you remember when we were young kids? Yes. And the humans threw us out and Swift Clan rescued us? He nodded. Well, she is our littermate. I blinked in surprise. Our littermate? Yes. Nice to see you again, brother. She greeted him. Hi. We should get back, Lightning said. Frost rolled her eyes. Lightning and Cream are almost inseparable. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so they head back. When they got back, she saw Silver Spots and Cream dart out of the healer's tent. <laughs> Clover was sitting beside Daisy. <laughs> she saw Shrew walk over to the kits. She joined him, and they played with the kids. Aw. See, this is why they're together, because they both love children. <laughs> so they had three litters of children. <laughs> Silver Spots pushed his sister out of the way to go first. Oh, sorry, Cream! He said before diving at the moss ball. Aw. I love how he's just like, oops. Oh well. <laughs> Sucks me, you Cream. <laughs> they played with the kids until sunset. The next day, in Rowan Clan. Wild was sitting with the sun. He watched him as he groomed his fur. Why do you groom like a cat? He asked, amused. Why don't you? Wild rolled his eyes. Hey, son, I can show you the territory if you want. Sure. So they went. We'll okay with them. Yeah, because everyone knows if you don't follow your mate around, that they're gonna cheat on you. <laughs> that is sarcasm. When they got back, it was sun high. Wild grab. 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 Da -da -da. Grabbed something from the fresh kill pile and shared it with fun. It was probably a shrew. <laughs> they love shrews. <laughs> Half a moon later, Sun was walking along the border with Wild. He sounded swift plan and turned very suddenly. <laughs> He's just like, nope. <laughs> I don't want to speak with them. <laughs> Wild fall. Sun loves spending time with his brother. Yay. Brotherness. <laughs> You're there, like, avoiding Swift Clan like the plague. No, how's the expression go? Avoiding them like they have green cough. Yeah, <laughs> that, that expression. I think it's used once with clan cats. It's mainly with these guys that it's used. Because in the clan cats lore book, Star Clan chapters, Dark Star literally avoids his father. And it's like, <laughs> Dark Star was avoiding his father like the <laughs> freaking green cough. But, anyways. Two moons later, Sun was walking to the border with Wild. He was going back to Swift Land, and he couldn't just leave his brother. Listen, Wild, I want to tell you. Wild's POV. Wild listened to Sun. Wild, I'm leaving. Wild was shocked. What? Listen, please. I'm going back to my clan. Your enemy. What? You're part of Slate's clan? Wild said, disbelieving me. What about me? I'm your kin! I have other kin now. You're not my only kin. He just walked away. Wild heard rustling and saw Blaze appear. 
I knew he couldn't be trusted, he said coolly. <laughs> okay, well, you are one to freaking talk. So that's POV. Sun went to find a patrol. He sounded Frost and called out to her. Sun, you're finally back! Frost ran over to him. Yeah, so what happened while I was gone? Her gaze darkened. Sun's heart skipped to beat. What happened? Yes, his voice shaking. It, it's just... She let out his Silver Spots died. What? Sun was shocked that his younger brother was just gone. Listen, son, it's fine. I just want to go home. He headed back to camp. When he got there, Clover greeted him. Sun was just happy to be home. Sun noticed that Daisy wasn't on patrol for the third day in a row. Usually two days in a row was most. Then he noticed her points. She had to be expecting kids, but who was their father? <laughs> She, like, just had a litter. This book. <laughs> like, I know, like, they're trying to hurry things up so it makes, like, relevance for the story. Because, like, you know, they have to have, like, the litter usually happen at the start of the book. So it's like, oh, this happened. Like, I, I get why they did that, but still. <laughs> People. After Sun High, the patrols got back. You know, it was Daisy and Wolf talking. Their tails were entwined. That answered his question. And then they lived happily ever after. Just kidding, they had three, three litters and then Daisy dies. <laughs> Why does everyone have three litters and die? Weird. <laughs> Back in Rowan Clan. This is new. What is this? I did not see this. I actually don't know what's going on here. Very interesting. Well, milk was in the forest. Oh, it's milk. Milk, wait! He turned to Cloud. What did he want? Oh, what the fuck do you want, Cloud? Cloud, get out of here. <laughs> Well, I actually don't know what's happening. Um, what, yeah, what does he want, milk? What? Cloud shifted his paws. It's about the badger. Uh, you know what? Never mind. He scurried off, clearly embarrassed. Oh, but the, oh, this is a thing. Oh, I guess that explains stuff for the book four. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> milk never would have guessed that from Cloud, but then again, it did make sense. Okay, well that was a little, a little rude of you to say, but anyway, that's it for today.